This is Paula DeWitt and welcome to another edition of Seen Here First. I have some wonderful young guests with me today in the studio and they're all from G.W. Graham and they're in the, not the theater department, but no. the movie making. The, the film, film and TV. department. The film and television. Film and television. Yes, television. Yeah, yes yeah. which is a relatively yeah. new program at your school. Uh, n n not exactly. It's, I, I, it's fairly old. Yeah, uh, I don't know how how many like how long it's been in, but like it started out quite like not great. Like they didn't have a lot of equipment, but it's definitely come a long way. I'd say that's awesome. But another reason why you're here is because you have a film that you have entered into the Chilliwack Student Film Festival. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's talk about that. But first. Let's introduce each other, because you guys look a lot younger than I am. So. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Let's start here. Um, well, me, uh, I forgot my name. Uh, no, it's, name? no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, my name is Kale Goff, and I mainly do editing and cinematography. Um, and what grade are you in? I'm in grade 10. Grade 10. Mm -hmm. I'm Kiana Clark, and I'm also in grade 10, and I, we focus on the same thing, edit, editing and cinematography. Mm -hmm. Very neat. I am uh, Jared McGalley. I mainly did acting on the set. I acted as the mystery man on the film. And I, yeah, I mainly do acting. I can work behind a camera also editing as well, but yeah. Very neat. I'm Brody Rouleau, and I kind of just do a little bit of everything in the little film crew that we have. Uh, I've, I've been mainly doing acting in Peoplesburger to be the character. And uh, I'm in grade 11, so I've had a little bit... So you're the older, bit... wiser one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> yeah wiser. Yeah. Uh, and I'm uh, Mason Fraser. I've primarily acted in our Pupil's Burger film, but I also do some editing sometimes. Very cool. Yeah. So this movie is called People's Burger. Yes. Mm -hmm. And did you guys write the film? Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, tell us, how, tell us a bit about it was an, how it came about. It was an original idea between all of us. Like, we all wanted to do something, like, 80s kind of, like, infomercial, but we wanted to have, like, a twist of, like, scariness, right? So we looked at analog horror, and we kind of built a lot after all of that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it... Basically, just one day we were having some troubles. We were really stumped on an idea because we wanted to just get our hands on a camera and go out and film something. And we were just sitting all together around a table and I came up with the idea of analog horror. And I, I so showed it to everyone. We all discussed it. We all said it was a pretty good idea. And then the next day we started discussing even further. And then the idea for People's Burger was born from there. Um, but it was it's a bit more extensive than that. So explain to the audience what analog core means. Well, Brody is an expert. Yeah, I'd say like Brody is probably the best explaining it. Yeah, analog horror is a weird kind of subcategory of horror online. It, it's mainly centered online. It's the idea of old infomercials or anything kind of old, like in like introductory tapes for like a workplace environment. It just has an unsettling feeling or like something isn't right. Kind of like how the cameras make it feel with the right. old kind of feel to them. And then you were also saying that you did some recording on VHS. Yes. yes. Um, actually, I feel like I struggled the most with VHS because um, we filmed it all on the camera, right? And it's quite old, right? So exporting it onto the new technology took a really, really, really long time. I think I wanted to pull up my hair so many times <laughs> trying to do this. Yeah. And those, those cameras are quite big, too. Well, we used one of the minier ones, right? Like, uh, they... Ha we don't put the VHS in them, the VHS already is in them, you know. And I think that it was probably the best because I don't know if we were going to be able to figure out the big ones. I mean... But it's very 80s. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's very yeah. 80s. Yes, you could have even used the beta camera, which nobody has. <laughs> so, <laughs> or a beta machine. Okay, so now you guys have been selected to be in the film festival. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. A, yeah. that's a pretty big honor. We yeah. definitely um, have been in, like, uh, our teacher's eyes, because, uh, like, he's definitely one of my big mentors and the reason that I still do yes. film to and this day. And who is your teacher? Our teacher uh, is Mr. Florizone. A, a okay. full name. Do you know his full name? Mr. I don't, Michael Florizone. No, I, 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 okay. Michael, Michael well, Florizone. I did, but I forgot it. <laughs> Michael Florizone. So how many um, films have you guys done together as a group? We've made, like... Five or six, I believe. I, wow. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. All this year? Yes. Uh, actually, cool. well, actually, it, uh, over the span of two months, we made six films. Um, oh, yeah. Are they all People Burger? No, uh, no, 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 no. Like <laughs> projects related. We actually to, like, have assignments. one of them called Mason Fraser, which is an action <laughs> yeah. comedy film based off of Mason Fraser. Yeah, yeah. we wanted to do a bit of a parody film on the John Wick films, so we uh, came up with the funny idea of doing it all based around Mason Fraser, and mm -hmm. he's the main actor. Very cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm excited to see it. So let's have a look at it and join us next time.
on scene here first. You have reached the voicemail box of... Josh Martin. Please leave a message after the tone. Josh, I've called you four times. Where are you? Where's Dad? I haven't seen you both in hours. Is he preparing for the opening night with you? After Mom died, I worried about Dad. Never the same. Neither were you. I know you both are okay. This is the only family I got left. Just call me back in the day. When on the job, our employees will be making the famous Johnny Burger. You'll need to learn the basics. Here's how. I'm going to need you to sign this. First off, I need you to sign here, here, and here. This is a standard routine company policy, Charlie. What? Non-disclosure agreement? That seems kind of intense. I assure you, it's company policy. There's a couple of more pages for you to sign. Mr. Markman? Hey, what are you doing? What did you see? I'm sorry, I was just- You're not supposed to be in here. Who are you? You need to get out of here.
Hello? Who's this? Oh, I think I remember you. What do you need help with this time? Interesting. You're gonna have to pay me double this time. I'll be right over. And 